Hello and welcome to the video IntelliJ Idea Connect to Oracle Database with me, Nam Ha Ming from Code Java.net. Through this video, you will learn how to connect and manage a database on Oracle Database Server right inside IntelliJ Idea using the database tool provided by IntelliJ Idea so you can manage Oracle databases without having to leave the IDE. In details, I will show you how to make connection to an Oracle database, how to create a new table, how to manage data in a table, how to execute some SQL statements, and I suppose that you are using the following software programs, Java Development Kit and IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition, and Oracle Database ATG Express Edition. This is uh, IntelliJ IDEA on my computer, and as you can see, I'm using IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate Edition version 2020.1 here. And to open the database window in IntelliJ IDEA, you can uh, click the database uh, window on the right side of the IDE here, database here. And from here, you can create a new connection by defining a new uh, data source here. If you don't see this uh, database view, you can show it by uh, going to the menu view. Uh, to Windows and uh, database here. Now I will create a new uh, database connection to a local instance of Oracle database on my computer. So click the plus button here, data source, and choose a type Oracle here. And here, uh, enter the name for the data source. Uh, for example, Oracle 18C on local host host name uh, local host uh, service name axi user system password and you can see the jdbc url using oracle team driver here driver tie is oracle team here and you uh, should click and download the missing driver files here. Yeah. So with IntelliJ IDEA, you don't have to manually download the Oracle ZDBC driver. It will download the ZDBC driver automatically. Very convenient. And you can see the version is 12.2.0.1 here. And click the test connection button here. And you can see a green check mark here indicating that the IntelliJ IDEA has successfully connected to Oracle database with an 18 c Express Edition here. And click OK. And you can see the new connection appears in the database view here. And you can see IntelliJ IDEA also opens a new console editor for writing and execute SQL statements. Click the arrow here to expand the connection and the schema system here. Tables here, you can see there are many tables, including system tables and user tables here. And these are the uh, user tables. You can see the columns here. Students table here. You see. And you can see the, from the context menu, right click on the table and you can see there are many actions you can perform on a table like modify table, drop, new column here. So you can see IntelliJ IDEA provides a very uh, advanced uh, database tool so you can uh, do everything almost everything with the database without the need to leave the IDE. You can manage the Oracle database right inside IntelliJ IDEA. Very convenient. Now we create a new table. So right click on the table node here, new table. Enter the table name. For example, products. And then you can add the columns 
into this table. You can see the SQL script uh, right below here. Click the plus button here to add columns. The first column is ID, type integer, not no auto increment, primary key, and a great thing with IntelliJ IDEA is that you can create an Oracle uh, table uh, with uh, auto increment generated as an entity here. Click plus button to add more column name, data type, Vacha um, 2, uh, with the length is 100 characters maximum, not no. And you can see the SQL script uh, create table right below here. And the third column is um, rice. Data type is float. Not no. Okay. And click execute here to create this table. It sorts the table by name, so for the products table, we need to scroll down. You can see the products table got created here, and you can see the columns uh, ID, name, and price. And there is also another product table here. You can right click and drop this table. Okay. And to manage data in this products table, you can uh, double click on the table name and in the idea we open the editor for this table. And from here you can uh, insert new rows, update uh, rows, delete rows, click the add new row uh, button here. For example, I want to add uh, three new rows into this products table name iPhone 2021 20, Rise 2021 20, Amazon Kingdom Fire Rise 1, 2, 3 and uh, Microsoft Xbox Price um, four five six and click the submit button here to commit the changes uh, to the database. Okay, and you can see the uh, values for the ID column uh, automatically generated one, two, uh, three here. And you can see the uh, output status of uh, SQL statement execution. In the service DVC view here, you can see here the status of the SQL execution. Select statement from products table. Insert a SQL statement here. Similarly, you can open uh, data in another table and update, update data in another table. For example, in students table here, you see I want to work. I bet the name of this uh, student Ravi Kumar Krishna to just uh, Ravi Kumar and uh, edit the email to just Ravi Kumar. And when done, you uh, click the submit button here to commit the change. And you can see the update SQL statement result here and followed by the select uh, statement to refresh the table. And to remove a row, you can uh, right click on the row we want to delete and click delete row here. And the uh, row is marked as gray here. And to commit that change, click submit button. And you can see the SQL statement delete from students table here. And then follow by select SQL statement to refresh the table. So that is very easy. Very cool to manage data in a uh, Oracle uh, table right inside IntelliJ IDEA. Very easy.
and to write an uh, execute SQL statement, uh, you can open the uh, SQL console view by default when the connection is open. IntelliJ IDEA open uh, the default console here, and you can write SQL statement here. If you don't see this uh, window, you can right click on the, uh, the connection here and open query console here. And from the service view here, you can close the session. Okay, and in this console, I will write a SQL uh, select statement. Select all views uh, from the table uh, students here. And click the play button here to execute this SQL select statement. And you can see the result appear here. The content of the table is still in here. And in the output view, you can see the status of the SQL statement. Three rows retrieved. Here you see. And I write another SQL statement. Uh, delete from the student, students where ID equal 21. I want to remove the student Jane Rusty here and to execute this uh, statement you only, only you select it and click the play button here execute button and you can see in the output here it says that the delete SQL statement has been executed and window affected and execute the select statement again and you can see that student was removed from the table so that's uh, also very easy and convenient to write, edit, and execute SQL statements uh, right inside IntelliJ IDEA against an Oracle database. And when finished working with Oracle database, you can disconnect by right click on the connection name and click disconnect or click the stop button here to disconnect from the Oracle database. And to connect again, you just uh, open the schema and double click on the table here. Yeah. And IntelliJ IDEA will automatically uh, create a connection. And you can see the connection open in the service view here. Yeah. So far, you have learned how to connect and manage an Oracle database right inside IntelliJ IDEA. And as you have seen, IntelliJ IDEA provides the in a database tool which is very advanced you can do almost everything uh, with databases right inside the IDE I hope you have found this video helpful please subscribe to my channel like comment and share this video thank you